I want, let's say, I want a person to treat me the way I think that I deserve to be treated. What is going on outside of you is a manifestation of what's going on within you. I cannot ask people to change the way they're treating me if I don't deserve this kind of treatment. And this kind, deserving this kind of treatment means that, do I really deserve? So many people, they don't look at themselves and they don't see the way they're acting and at the same time they're asking others to treat them the way they think that they deserve for example um, advising people about things that i'm not doing from the first place now as a specialist i can always uh, sit with my client and monitor what's going on okay this is something different when you're in the problem you're totally different person because you have all this vibrations within you and you feel that you're emotional and being emotional it means that you might be angry when you get passionate i mean you love too much or you hate too much we always look forward to being balanced and being balanced is by confronting yourself about yourself and to do inner work which will help you to manifest in people the way you want them to treat you. At the same time, advising is also a critical thing because I cannot advise people to do something that I'm not doing. I cannot appear on the videos and, and talk about uh, uh, steps that you need to take in order, for example, to be wealthy, and I'm not wealthy. I will lose my honesty and you won't be able to trust me. And it doesn't mean that I need to be an example. No, it is my life. And I will not do that good by just advising. I need to work on myself first. And for example, being wealthy doesn't mean that you need to have a lot of money. Being wealthy is much deeper than that, is, is to feel abundance within you. And the food you eat, and the place you're living in, and the way you look, and the people you're you're uh, mingling with—it's abundance. Even if you don't have money, you can you can still feel abundance, and then money will come. Your energy needs to be suitable to what you're looking for. For example, you want a position. Did you work hard for it? Did you do you know everything about it? Does it? Uh, do you, uh, can you manage a crisis? Do you have really the knowledge about this work? You cannot ask your employees to be professional and you're not. So you always start with yourself. I want my husband, for example, to be understanding, to be patient with me. And sometimes I get moods or whatever. I need to be the one who's doing that from the first place. Otherwise I cannot ask him to be understanding and, and, uh, and kind. The same goes with your relationships. So sometimes you find people, she tells you she's looking for uh, Mr. Right and uh, like a businessman, for example. But are you really, is your energy suitable f to attract such person? For example, to be understanding for him that he will be traveling from time to time, that he will be away from home because of his work as a businessman and, and, and he's really working hard, uh, he's ambitious. Are you really suitable energy-wise for that type of person? So you need to correct your energy. You need to understand that he will be away for some time, that you will not complain, that you will be always ready for him to give him this kind of understanding and appreciation in what he's doing and then you will get more of him and you will be like uh, a couple who are adding for each other instead of sucking the energy from each other so you need always we need to work on ourselves first if we want to uh, get what we want from people and from things around us sometimes you are not aware of uh, critical and and small stuff 
and you always blame the other you think that he's doing this because of them and I'm not saying that you should blame yourself no I'm just saying that you need to search within you why did you attract such person and and why people are treating you this way it's like a warning sign that there is something that I need to work on within me in order to get the life that I want in order to have the person that I want but I cannot ask that person to treat me in a specific way if I'm not doing it I heal myself first in order for me to go out and talk about healing I uh, managed to each and every problem I'm talking about I went through it first I had the experience I had the knowledge and I benefited from it and that's why I'm talking about it. Otherwise, you won't be able to trust me. Uh, financial manager and, and they don't know how to manage their lives. If he did not manage his financial life properly and I, and I took it as an exam, I cannot trust them. How can I? So we always start with ourselves. We always start with what we have from within in order to change everything out. And so many people, they don't, they're not aware of, of, of this thing. I was in a gathering the other day and there was this uh, friend who got two divorces and there's nothing wrong with that. At the same time, she was blaming the other and I was trying to make her understand that, that there is something within you which is causing this to happen, which is causing maybe uh, this type of people to come to you or to be attracted to you. There is something within you which is calling for these problems. So you never uh, blame the other. And this adds actually to the personality and makes us be aware of our wounds and to heal them in order to have a better life. There is, uh, there is in uh, my proficiency a, a negative feeling which is called overjoy. I discovered from the sessions I'm doing that most people who have problem in taking actions that this uh, type of feeling, negative feeling, appears overjoy. Overjoy means that you want always to be happy and not in a natural way and uh, uh, you're seeking happiness even if it was uh, temporary. So uh, you will find that person uh, doing drugs, uh, drinking alcohol, uh, or being alcoholic, or having, uh, like watching series, just to keep uh, the brain and the soul away from uh, being with myself. And you can never change anything if you don't go within you and see what's going on because you want people to change around you you want to have a better relationship with your husband you want to have a better relationship with your wife with your kids with with the people with with your job with everything around you because everything is energy so even if it's a bit painful but it's worth it so i want you to start thinking about you within you and see what you want in life and work on yourself accordingly.